All right, Chris, first impressions, man. What you thinking? Um, you know, we got a couple of tough grime in here. Um, we're just gonna do a quick min uh, minion tier detail. Uh, just probably remove this with the clay bar, probably loose it, but you know, shine up the tires, shine up the trim and everything. How long should this job take you? Uh, I'll say the job will probably take at most, at most two hours, maybe at least an hour and 15, depending on how we work, depending on how in this cold weather we're getting. Hey man, the sun is going down. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what's the game plan for that? We got some lights here too, man. Uh -oh. We want to put up some lights. Hey, and just letting you guys know, we're over here at H2O headquarters. They might have a light or something to help you out too, man. Don't oh, be shy to ask, right, Chris? I uh, will see you right now, if anything. We have a small interior light that has, you know, for the interior. Hey, Chris, so how do you like starting your details, man? Outside, inside, tires? Uh, really all depending on the condition, uh, weather. Let's, let's say it's going to get dark right now. I, I want to do all the outside because of condensation. Get the dry vehicle way before it starts getting colder. So with the weather being a factor that's something I, I want to do first sometimes for my name's figure I'll, I'll, I'll vacuum my like, down real quick and exterior wash and get out but I'll say most of the time I do it uh, exterior first saying because there's a lot of water being holding in spots like that even if you blow them out there's still gonna be water Right, guys so i'm over here recording the homie right here chris ah, he's putting in work but of course i couldn't have made this possible without h2o they lent me their location and if you don't know about h2o they do great van setups they've done setups for wayne james top class detailing and so many more so go show them some love on instagram h2o youtube h2o i'll put it in the description below Go tell them Ray has sent you, and now let's go back to the video. All right, Chris. Hey, man, you're knocking this car off quick, bro. Yeah, I gotta put it on. Hey, so you actually were a little late today because you were working on other cars today? Yeah. What do um, you have in the works today? So, uh, it's a client, you know, he has a little uh, motor, sh he sells exotic cars and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, he doesn't really tell me. Sometimes he'll add another car here and there, so. Mm. So, he gets a little compact. What was the original package for how many cars? Uh, it's just basic on the, all of them, necessarily, unless they need extra work. Um, but How many cars? He started off with three, but he ended up adding another one. So four. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? When customers add another um, car, depending on my schedule, sometimes I'll actually shut up and like, yeah, hey, I really can't do it. Like, mm -hmm. like um, another case, like I had to go to the MRI for because of my accident, and you know I told him like, yeah, hey, I can't do this other car. You know, I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> so how does a customer usually respond? Um, Depending if they really want to get it done or if they're like, okay, they sometimes they understand uh, Depending how serious or let's say Remember you putting in work, Chris? Yeah, you can't with vinyl or anything like that. You, you wipe it off. Let's say leather uh, With more trouble I have it with let's say Mercedes, Bentley, more of a higher-end leather. They get more uh, sticky so with anything that um, you know, you, you can't really just put light pressure, but neither am I going to go to, like stab it in and anything, but you got to put some elbow grease into it. So it's not an easy job here. It's not a light day. It's always a day of work. Even when you're not working, let's say you got a couple of people that call you, you're still working. 
you gotta make a new logo, do some promotions, you're still working. You're home, on your computer, you're still working. So, get it done. Hey, Crystal. Yes, sir. It's 5.30, bro. And what about it? How you doing in life? What do you mean? We're still getting it done. What else you got left? Uh, generally, we're just gonna wipe off the finishing plastics. Uh, just a light wipe down. But we're cleaning up the, the bottom floor mats right now. And after we get all the inside finished, we're just gonna do mainly touch-ups from the outside, the glass and um, tire shine. And exterior touch-ups, and then we'll be done. All right, you'll be able to do all that with this one light? Yes, sir. We can move it around. You all right, good. Chris. I want to ask you something. Yes, sir. You're 17. Uh-huh. You've been in business for a year. A year and some change. Have you noticed customers treat you a little bit different? Um. Because of your age? Yeah. Yeah. It, it can. Where they try to get, uh, they think they have more leeway with me. So... You know, that's 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 somewhere where you gotta put your foot down and not necessarily put your foot down, but that's somewhere where you gotta sell yourself or you know, like, oh, I've, I've been doing this for a while. Like, I could do this very good. It could end up like this. It could be the end result. And showing that your knowledge is worth more than what you look like or who you are or your age in general. So let me ask you, what's one of the common things people do i'm assuming try to lowball you cut your prices um or like try to get more out of you then yeah yeah it's more it's more trying to get more out of you than trying to switch out the price mm. so they'll be like oh you could do this too can you, you know try to like oh you know i would just have this for an extra fee if you still like to move on with that so and so, sometimes if it's like a little you know not so deep of a scratch or just like, you know, some basic stuff that I could, you know, it's not going to very be time consuming, time effective or chemical effective. Um, sometimes I'll just do it, make the, make the customer happy. You know, sometimes they'll, they'll call you just because you did something for them. Like, um, even putting air in customer's tires. That's a nice gesture as well. Um, I got on tip really well just for putting air in their tire because her rear back tire was pretty low. Mm. And I told her, like, oh, your tire's pretty low. I'll put some air. She's like, oh, okay, thank you. Now. Yes, sir. You know, it's getting dark super early now. Uh-huh. 4, 4.30, yeah. Do you, do you try to end your day at 4, 4.30? Uh, yeah, I, since I have school in place, uh, some, sometimes where I would actually not go to school and just go work because, you know, the money is the money, so. You have to see what's the priority. If it's worth it for me, I'll do it. So sometimes I'll start nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever's for the customer. And I'll end 3.30, maybe 4.30 and go back home. But from there, that's all it. All right, Chris, how's everything, man? Uh, we finished on the video, just, just packing up now. Um, oh, you're done? Uh, yes, sir. Nice. How do you think it went? Uh, went pretty good, a bit dirty, you know, probably some some touches if we have time to touch it up, we'll, you know, I'll probably have more detail, but. What are you doing? Yeah, removing the water. Um, the reason why I do this, uh, let's say I live all the way in Long Beach. Uh, one, it saves gas. Two, you have more control of your car. Say you have six, so 65 pounds of water, which I'm holding, weighs about 600 pounds. Oh, damn. So, yeah, every, everything that's on the, tr that's in the truck, Weighs about maybe a thousand pounds more. So you do this every night? You take out the water? Uh, depending on the next day. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So um, what do you have planned for the next day? School. I have school tomorrow. So you don't got a detail? No detail tomorrow. It, it, it's, it's gone slowing down where I can go to school a little bit more and probably focus. But... <laughs> this guy over here. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. You got time to go to school. Yeah. Finally. Hey, but hey, if money's worth it, I'll go for it. Got but, it. You know, you gotta make stuff happen. So, 
I see, I see this as in going in five years, maybe somewhere in six digits or more. Yeah. Versus if I go to college and go to four year and pay six digits and you know have to pay that back. I, it's hey, all what man. you choose, man. It's all what you choose. So I got you, man. I got you. Right now, emptying out the water tank, clean up the, the all the accessories that are outside. And we'll be heading back home to Long Beach. All right, guys, so there you have it. How do you think the job went, Chris? Uh, it went pretty good, it went pretty smooth. We did a light clay on this um, van here and then we treated up the inside because it was pretty beaded, but you know, it went pretty smooth, about an hour, an hour and a half process. We get how, it do you, how do you think the darkness affected the detail? Um, if you have enough lights, you can get it done. If you know where to place your lights and how shadows and everything works. So. Yes, sir. Let's just say there's somebody out there who wants a detail. Yes, sir. Or they want to hit you up and follow your journey. Mm -hmm. Where can they go? Uh, you can go to Instagram underscore Chris with all the detailing. I have a bunch of pages right there. You can see all my previous work, any other my details I saw. But And what areas do you cover? I cover Long Beach. I go anywhere from SoCal, like let's say all the way to Manhattan Beach, Santa Monica. I go all the way to Costa Mesa, Tustin, whatever you guys need me. As long as you're willing to pay for the gas, I'm willing to go, willing to get the job done. There you go. Hey, he's he's driving a V8. Yeah, it's a <laughs> 454 V8. Well, not 450, but it's a 5.3 uh, V8 in here. So. All right, guys. It's 120 bucks in gas. So. Hey, so if you want to show him some love? Everything in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more detailing content, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. Adios, guys.